Hi everyone, John here. I'm catching up on a couple pedal demos today. This is my Natian particle generator. For those of you who aren't Star Trek geeks, that means it's a phaser. This is Mad Bean's Stage Fright phaser based on the old Maestro. It's been modernized, uses LM13700 um, chips in it, so it's an OTA based phaser. It's got five and six stages and they do make a reasonable difference in the sound, not just the depth. Um, depth control and rate control goes from super slow to really, uh, you know, the usual mm. ray gun sounds. And the, a sweep control, which is something I added. It's a pretty simple mod. It's just a pot and an LED, which takes the place of a transistor that was in the stock unit. Um, I was just playing around and happened to luck out on this. It's pretty neat. I'm going to leave that around noon, which is mm, kind of close to the stock unit. Um, might be a little more depth then I was able to get out of it with using the transistor. I'm going to put the depth and rate at noon and just start on five stages. So not a totally ridiculous sound, but it will be pretty obvious. This is not a subtle phaser. I'm on the rhythm channel of my amp today. Um, it has a lot more bass and treble than the lead channel, so it'll be a lot more obvious when I start playing with the sweep knob, what it's doing. And I'm on the bridge in the middle of my strat. Here's the bypass. very throaty sounding in that setting. Um, before I get to going through the stages, I'm just going to back the depth all the way down. Um, just because of the way the depth is done, there's still a little bit of effect on five stages. It also depends on where the rate setting is. When the rate gets really high, you can still hear it. Um, when the rate's really low, you're, not, you're probably not really going to hear much of anything at all. It's kind of subtle, maybe slightly more subtle than a phase 45 in that setting, but um, again, that's with, that's with the depth all the way down, so um, not a subtle phaser, as I said. Let's put the depth all the way up, and I'm going to put the rate right back at noon, and just to show the difference between five and six stages. So here's five stages. <laughs> So the vowel sound changes a little bit. I think the five stages sounds a little more hollow. Um, six stages actually maybe a little more flangerish, even though it's still um, still just one notch. Um, the five stages maybe a little more metallic sounding overall than the six stages. Let's take a look at the sweep knob. I'm going to put the sweep all the way down, and as you can see, the LED got brighter, so it's going to be a brighter sweep. And most of what's happening is going to be way up in the harmonics and um, some on the treble strings, not so much on the low strings. Not a huge amount of effect on those. But the high strings have much more. If we bring it up to about 10 o'clock.
all the way down. There's hardly anything going on on the high strings. I mean, that sounds a lot like the minimum depth setting sounded like, but the bass strings are just... <laughs> I mean, it's almost like it's happening in the subs. Um, but this is really cool for um, doing single notes over a bass that's moving along in time.